Hi, YouTubies. It's me, Zachary Michael. Also. Also. Hi. Hello. How's it going? I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're you're doing amazing. Uh, I'm doing my best. And I hope that you're doing your best. <laughs> and the best that I have to give today is a little not sure what's cooking. It's actually been a while since we have revisited Cherie. Um, I actually was tempted to do an Alabama prepper video today, but the her most recent video was like her talking about the presidential campaign and people being liars and things like that. And it's not that I don't have the capacity in general to talk about those things, but I don't have the capacity to talk about it today. <laughs> specifically not in a good place to talk about it today so um so we're not so we're not and instead we're gonna come check in on Cherie it's been it's been a long time and she has two YouTube videos that I don't know I don't, we'll see if we get to both of them but she has two YouTube videos that look sussy <laughs> they look real sussy we're gonna start with this one in particular um, oh, oh, please. I didn't know. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. This one is called Feed Four to Six People with this delicious taco squash casserole at Not Sure What's Cooking. And I think y'all saw the thumbnail there for a second. And it looks sussy. I, in general, like, squash has to be cooked, like, just the right way for me. Like, zucchini, yellow squash... Any kind of squash, like, I do eat squash occasionally, but I think it has to be just, like, cooked in a specific kind of way. And the way that it looked in that thumbnail was not giving the specific kind of way I personally need my squash to be cooked. Uh, and then, of course, you know, when it comes to old, uh, to old Cherie, she puts just about everything in the kitchen sink into these casseroles and these recipes. Um... So, <laughs> who knows what else is in there, you know? Who knows? The only squash I eat is butternut squash soup. I always see, like, I love to watch a TikTok reel that has, not TikTok reel, an Instagram reel that has, like, cooking in it. And there's, a, a, I get recommended a lot of videos of them making, like, squash soups and stuff. And it always looks so good, but I literally never have had it or made it. I, I did used to eat a lot of spaghetti squash when I was on the keto back in the day. Actually, I would eat a lot of um, zoodles, zucchini noodles as well. Like, I really wanted to try to emulate the concept of pasta, which, like, zoodles do not. Just for the record, zoodles will never be pasta. But, you know, that was the, the delusion I was living under when I ate keto. <laughs> So here we are. Uh, anyways, I should stop rambling about all of that uh, because part of the goal also for watching Cherie today is that I just needed a, maybe a little bit of a shorter reaction today as well. So, you know, I'm not doing a great job of getting started quickly. So if you're ready in the chat to watch old Not Sure What's Cooking, could you put some 69s in the chat? I would love to see it. I would love to see it. Feed four to six people. 426 people are being fed. We're being fed because Cherie's going to be serving. <laughs> serving country. <laughs> I also, I, I'm kind of shook that she still hasn't, like, we're still filming videos like this. Like, I feel like when we first started watching her, she was, like, on camera for a little bit, and then she was, like, doing the, the situation type of deal where she's like, oh, our kitchen's being renovated or something, and we haven't seen her in a video since, you know? We really haven't. <laughs> Crazy how the first sin was a woman who fed four to six people with delicious taco squash casserole. <laughs> Um, to be fair, we've reinforced poor behavior. She's continued to grow subscribers with poor filming. She's continued to grow subscribers with, with engagement farming. <laughs> She's continued to grow subscribers by joining Facebook groups where everybody agrees to, to watch, like, and comment on each other's content. 
that's how she's grown uh that's how she's grown it anyways let's get to let's get to let's see what's up what's happening with this delicious taco squash casserole let me put her captions on too all right here we go hey y'all this is Shereen oh my with god Love not it. sure what's cooking well today i am going to be making a also look at this what is this wait 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 let's <laughs> country kitchen but look at these salt and pepper shakers y'all see the salt and pepper shakers <gasps> what miss shuri what are these salt and pepper shakers what is going on here is it tilted or am i going crazy i don't think it's straight but listen, I'm not either. <laughs> I'm not either, so. Yeah, it looks like uh, like Native American, indigenous people themed salt and pepper shakers. Fascinating. She's had these. They've been in the background of all of her stove videos. Oh, I've just never noticed until this time. Great, great stunning are you aware of her dog's name no idea um all right well let, let's keep it going electric skillet dish what it's is the bell squash zucchini casserole is that is that her is that her dog in the background with a bell or something dish it's a squash zucchini casserole zucchini. and it's like you zucchini. never had before Put, put a one in the chat if you've never had a zucchini <laughs> casserole before. <laughs> I guarantee you that. Love right, zucchini. So what you're going to need, I'm going to use all of these. I've got three zucchinis and three squash. Mm, love having three zucchinis <laughs> just at my beck and call. Love a zucchini. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and use them all. And then what I don't... Um, what we don't eat. I'm just yeah, this is crooked. <laughs> the, the camera is crooked. Freeze it for another meal for later on. All right, so just start, wash these real good. Also, those yellow squash or whatever it is. Let me move the captions for a second. The ones with the bumps, I always thought those were just for decoration purposes. I always thought those were just like... You got them during the fall time to, like, decorate your home and that you didn't actually eat them. I thought those were gourds. <laughs> I thought those were gourds. I've seen yellow squash before, just not with, like, I've eaten yellow squash even, just not with, like, the bumps on them. Yeah? And then just start cutting them up. And this is all from the garden of one of our neighbors that gave oh, us this delicious food. Oh, good. Thank God. Delicious food and these onions. So let's get started. I'm so, I'm so glad your, your neighbors put all that effort into growing these vegetables for whatever abomination you're about to make. <laughs> just so, I'm just so tickled that they put in all that hard work in their garden for you to do whatever you're about to do. All right, last night I cut up some bacon and fried it in little pieces I like would, this. I would love if we and could see what it. what I'm going to do is I'm going to just throw that in there. And there's about uh, two tablespoons of the bacon grease the in bacon. this. And that's what you're wanting. All right, now you're going to uh, plug in your electric skillet and turn it on 250. Now, if you went ahead and did the bacon like I did the <laughs> night before... Um, go ahead and heat it up in the microwave for, uh -huh. I don't know, maybe 10 seconds just to get that grease loosened mm, enough. What do you know about loosening up your grease? <laughs> what do you know about loosening up your grease? I also am fascinated by the concept that, like, this is a casserole, but she's cooking it in an electric skillet. Because I think about casseroles as being, like, stuff you bake in the oven although knowing knowing miss sheree she's probably going to cook this all once in the electric skillet and then bake it like 12 more times in the oven so to get it in there does that make sense i don't know tell me 
I just did some research. Apparently, gourds like that have very little edible flesh. Well, it looks like she just sliced it up and put it in there. <laughs> it looks like she just sliced it up flesh and all. Are you talking about, like, the skin? Or are you talking about just, like, the, the gourd as a whole? As a whole? Y'all tell me, does that make sense? <laughs> Oh, can y'all hear that sizzle? I sure can. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah, that sizzle sounds so delicious. Yummy. <laughs> can I do the emojis for y'all? <laughs> I'm trying, like, how do you get your eyes to look like that emoji? <laughs> after you got that all in there and you got the fire uh, turned up on 250. Do you think, Jamie, do you think she's intentionally covering the clock with emojis for some reason? <laughs> also, yeah, her filming skills, not great. When we can't see half of the stuff that's in the skillet because it's just fully not on camera, um, yeah, that's that's fascinating to me. She did it last time, too. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe she doesn't want us to see that she's cooking this at, like, four in the morning after her and her hubs got high or something. I don't know. It's the Doherty Dozen clock gate all over again. Now you're going to get one can of white chicken um, in the can uh -huh. and drain it real well. Uh, All right, now you just don't. We're, we're just putting, wait, look at the canned chicken. A canned chicken always looks so interesting to me. I have eaten canned chicken before, so like, whatever. But but it looks so fascinating in there. It just looks, it looks, it looks like something. It says, it actually says 1037, not 1031. Put that whole can in there. Uh-huh. And then just kind of stir it around just a little bit here. Whoops. I got stuff going everywhere. It's so full. Yeah, because yeah, you got too much shit in there, Cherie. You're cooking too much. You should have let the... I don't understand why you're not letting the um, the, the, the veggies, love, the squash... Love, love oh, I forgot to turn off alerts. Sucky me. <laughs> Let me turn them off now. Let me turn them off now. Let me... Before anybody else tries something. Rocky Mountain Rage thinks for nine months. <laughs> oh, the YouTubies that have missed that are going to be so excited. They're going to be so thrilled. <laughs> um, anyways, what I was saying is I don't understand why she didn't let like the zucchini and onions and like squash all cook down a little bit before she added more shit to this. Like, none of this is going to cook, like, at uh, an equal pacing, you know? It don't have to be stirred up real good. Not right now, because you're fixed to put the lid on it. Uh-huh. And after it cooks down just a little bit, then you want to stir it up really good. Now, oh, yeah. Guys... Do you do y'all think this is 1037 p.m. or a.m.? You think she... She's making a late night snack or something. This ain't all to this. So stick around because you're going to be surprised at what else I put in this after this is cooked down some. Oh, right. yeah, because this is also a, allegedly a taco squash casserole. Something about this is supposed to be taco. <laughs> now you're going to take some real butter and put about two tablespoons in there. Uh-huh. And that's not what I was saying, that you're going to be surprised on what I put in there because uh -huh. you probably will be. <laughs> but anyway, um, just get that mixed up the best you can. I don't know if it's possible for me to be surprised by the nonsense that she puts into our recipes anymore, if I'm being honest. I really don't think that there's any chance that I'll be too surprised. Um, not surprised. Maybe uh, disgusted. That might be a word to describe how I feel, but. <laughs> Put the lid on it and let it cook for, 
I don't know, maybe about five minutes uh-huh. on that 250, and then stir it again. She, now. Oh, it's now 1049. It's 1049. She does. She has been purposely covering the clock, though. Like, why are the emojis always over the clock? I'm going to put some trusted old parsley like I put in everything. Tell me in the comments below, do y'all use parsley a lot? I would like to know what's behind her parsley kink. Like, does she have, does she have stock in like big parsley? Is she, is she in like, is she in cahoots with the big parsley industry? I just think that it tastes good. So let me know if y'all use it a lot. Or if you don't use it at all. I don't I don't really use that. Right, no. and then just put the lid back on and let it cook down some more. Okay. And like I said, this isn't all that I'm gonna be putting in this little baby. <laughs> all right. It's now, now eleven. We've now made it to eleven o'clock. Whether that's AM or PM, your guess is as good as mine, but it's now eleven. Uh, just remember to stir it you know, occasionally. I usually stir mine about every five to six minutes or so. But you just check on it. And if you could see the um, liquid in there, uh -huh. that's good. That means that it's getting closer to time to be ready. And Put that little secret ingredient in here that y'all are going to be surprised. And I want to know down below in the comments if y'all are surprised with what I put in here. It looks so gross. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, but it does look very gross. It looks unappetizing. The, the posef. The, I'm going to go check on him. But the, the liquid looks unappetizing. The squash looks unappetizing. It all looks very gross. Oh, what's up, dude? What's up? Why are you barking? Come on, come say hi to the stream. Come say hi. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, you haven't said hi today. Who are you barking at? Who are you barking at? Who, who are you barking at? <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the surprise is just going to be taco seasoning, right? Like, that's what's going to make it a taco squash casserole, right? And then, like, can you really be surprised, then, if it's in the title of the video? I don't know. I don't know. But say hi to everybody. Say hi. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ooh, stinky breath. Oh, let me not get too close to your mouth like that. Here, go over there. Go get cozy on your chair. <clears throat> um. Anyways, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. I'm still riding the high of the surprise TTS. You got so lucky, Rocky Mountain Rach. It was your lucky day. It's a red herring. You think it's taco seasoning, but it's actually something else. It's probably like, it's probably like, she'll probably put something like taco adjacent in it. Like, ooh, here's jalapenos. Here's nacho cheese sauce. <laughs> and that will be the only thing. Ooh, Doritos. Yeah, she could really King Cobra it and put some Gitos in it. J Bay, seventeen eighty nine. Thanks so much for subscribing with Prime. Appreciate it. Banana peppers. Yeah, it, you know what? She probably won't put any taco seasoning in it, and it's gonna be just like one, like sort of spicy thing that she's gonna add to it. Let's let's keep going. All right, y'all. Y'all hear that sizzle again? I do. Uh, unfortunately, you would not believe how good this smells right now now what possibly could smell good though you haven't even really added any seasoning to it you haven't really added you added chopped up bacon maybe the bacon smells good maybe the butter smells good I, it can't be the canned chicken 
Okay, and as you can see, it has cooked down quite a bit. Now you just take the lid off. Also, and now it's now eleven twelve. The clock says eleven twelve now. You're gonna leave the lid off, and then you're gonna get one tablespoon of fajita seasoning. No. <laughs> A fajita seasoning? Is that the secret? Why wouldn't you call this a fajita squash casserole then? <laughs> if that's the surprise, that's so goofy, Cherie. That's so silly. Yep, and you're gonna just sprinkle it on there. You can buy the package fajita seasoning or make your own. Sure. But I'm gonna tell you, this is just really... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this for dinner. <laughs> this just really, really makes a great addition to uh, the squash and zucchini. No, and it's it's so true, Megan. A, a lot of these people we watch on YouTube, a, anything that's potentially Mexican related, they just call taco. It's actually kind of offensive, <laughs> to be honest. Like, it's kind of fucked up. It really is. Hannah! Hannah Reloaded, thanks so much for raiding into the stream. Good to see you. Um, she just said zucchini and not zucchini. Oh my gosh, wait, let me shout out Hannah real quick. Hannah Reloaded. Uh, did that work? Okay, great. Stunning, it did. Um, hi, Hannah, and hi, people coming from Hannah's stream. I hope you all had a lovely stream today. Um, we are having a very chill time watching this woman named, uh, well, her YouTube channel is not sure what's cooking. Her actual name is Cherie. And if you're not sure what you're looking at on the camera right now, that's fair. <laughs> it's allegedly a, uh, a delicious taco squash casserole. <laughs> heavy on the allegedly because <laughs> like there's lots of parts of that that might not like is there squash in this yes is it delicious doesn't look like it is it taco in fact no she just added fajita seasoning and that's the only thing even adjacently taco about it so <laughs> So that's what we're up to. Uh, thanks so much for rating, y'all. If you haven't checked out Hannah Reloaded, we actually just rated into her stream yesterday or the day before. I might have been the day before. Either way, we did recently raid into her stream. Um, she covers a lot of uh, debunking of conspiracy theories, of nonsense that people talk about on the internet and things like that. Um, and, uh, comes highly recommended from Halloween Town here in the, the Twitch chat. So uh, go check out her content. Anyways, let's uh <laughs> let's get back to to whatever the fajita seasoning that she just added. <laughs> and it is so delicious. I hope y'all try this because y'all are gonna be amazed. I won't now, be trying it. As you can it. see it's eleven thirteen right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this all cooked. Oh, she just referenced the time. For y'all that love a conspiracy theory, she has been, like, covering up the, the time on the clock on the stove with, like, emojis, which she does often just put emojis randomly into her videos. But we thought maybe she was trying to cover something up about it. But now she just referenced the time. So, I don't know. Will she bake it? I feel like there's still a chance it could go in the oven. And ready to heat up for dinner. All right, now, if you want to, I am going to add some salt because I like salt on everything. Well, you also haven't, you barely seasoned this at all. So, yeah, it's probably fine to add some salt. You don't have to. It's seasoned good enough, but I just like the salt taste. So, go ahead and add you some to your taste. And... You know, oh. you really don't have to because sure. it is seasoned good. All right. God I know bless. this is for dinner, but I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to have to taste it for y'all because it just smells so good. And oh, and so it's for later? I Maybe it is the morning. Maybe it's 1130 in the morning. 
But why are you cooking it so far in advance for dinner? Looks so good. All right, so let me take a bite of this. Looks you get a little heinous. bit of everything. Also, like, are the I'm not convinced that the yellow squash that she used is intended to be eaten. Eated? <laughs> eaten i don't think it's supposed to be eaten and i those big old seeds and stuff in there still it's i i'm sussy of it Mm-mm-mm. oh my gosh i'm gonna tell you this tastes so good and you can add more salt to it if you want to girl we know anyone. you already told us that all right i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you're surprised in the seasoning that I'm, I put in there. I'm actually not. That's probably the least surprise I've been by anything she's ever put in a in a uh in a dish before. And and just remember if you believe it, you, you can, can make, make this. it. And until next time, be blessed and safe. Bye y'all. I think she didn't bake it this time cuz she was already baked herself. <laughs> Honestly. And these people in our comments are always lying. They're always lying. Delicious and tasty recipe. A la. Looks good. A la. This is so nice and yummy. A la. <laughs> Food looks amazing. La. <laughs> Anybody with eyes can know that this shit does not look good. What does this say? Good evening, my dear friend. Congratulations. Excellent work. Delicious. All right. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. This recipe looks like the beef. Oh, this is soup pig. This is, wait, this is soup pig from the chat. This is the old soup pig. I was like, who is out here using the bee's knees and hot diggity dog? <laughs> and it's soup pig reprise from the Twitch chat. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, should we go watch the the crazy Boudin, Boudin burger? I know Boudin is like a, a Cajun like sausage or something like that. She's used it in stuff before. Um, I don't really, I'm not super familiar with it as a concept, but but yeah, let's let's watch it too. Why not? Hi hey y'all, Sheree here with. It's eleven seventeen. Oh, this is that shrimp back there. Is that shrimp back there? We're making a burger. Why you got shrimp back there? <laughs> Not sure what's cooking. Well, let's get started on this recipe. Let's go. This is a boudin shrimp stuffed burger. It's a Cajun dish. Oh, she is, she is going to be cooking that shrimp to death then, huh? <laughs> she's gonna be she loves to cook some shrimp to death like it's first of all it's already dead but she loves to just like absolutely annihilate it kind of and it is delicious wait 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 go back go back go back hemp stuffed <laughs> burger it's a cajun dish kind of it's a Cajun dish, kind of? Question mark. <laughs> yeah, just like your last dish we watched was kind of a taco dish. It wasn't. <laughs> it sure wasn't. <laughs> and it is delicious. All right, so let's get started here. I'm using my electric skillet. Get about two she tablespoons of butter. Make sure it's butter, not margarine. She's she's loving the electric skillet, huh? All right, and then get you one package of the small shrimp deveined. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, now some Creo, and this is really Love to the taste. Creo. I'm putting maybe a, a teaspoon. We're, are we se we're seasoning the butter? We're seasoning the melted butter, and the <laughs> why not just season the the shrimp? Because I don't want it too, too spicy. All right, now throw that shrimp in there. Did, was this already cooked shrimp? I didn't see on the, it says cooked, peeled, and deveined. Oh, this, so this already cooked. It's just frozen. Okay. All right. 
plate. Now throw that shrimp in there and just kind of mix it up in that butter and that uh, Cajun uh -huh. seasoning. So it's it's been cooked once. She's heating it up on the stove, so that's like cooked twice. Oh, you guys, I just can't wait to taste this. This is so good. Oh my gosh. This she she sounds like she is <laughs> pumped. I just can't wait to taste this. It is so good. All right, girl. This is such a good recipe. All right. Um, you do still need to bring frozen shrimp to a safe temp for safety. Oh, of course, Moss. Of course, of course. I, I'm just I'm just keeping track because uh anytime that Miss Cherie has ever used the already cooked shrimp, she um she cooks it like twelve times. So I'm just we're just we're just keeping track of how many times the shrimp is getting cooked. That's all. That's all. She loves to cook the shrimp multiple times. So anyway, go ahead and get that stirred up. And then put the lid on it. And whenever you're cooking this, uh -huh. make sure that it's kind of on low temp so it don't scorch it. All right, now while okay. that's cooking, get you some boudin. Let's all right, get the fucking and, boudin. Um, Go ahead, this is Cajun sausage, and you can get it on the internet if it's not if it's not available in your stores. But okay. anyway, go ahead and get this, open the package, and microwave it for about a minute and a half. Why are wait, why are we microwaving the sausage if we're gonna turn it into a burger? Oh, also I should I should say that the title of this video is Crazy boot hamburger with a surprise in the middle. What, what y'all know about a surprise in the middle? And y'all, this is a one skillet dish. Only what you need is one skillet. And um, I like the uh, electric skillet because uh -huh. it's deep. Ooh. And you can actually Relatable. fit a lot more in it than just a regular skillet. Relatable. <laughs> you can also fit a lot more in it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Let's keep it going. All right. Now, after you sauteed it a little bit, take the lid off and turn the heat up so it'll start sizzling. You hear uh -huh. that sizzle? Listen to that. I'm from the South and I cook country. When did that pop up? How did I miss that? <laughs> I'm from the South and I cook country. That. Don't that sound good? That always makes me hungry whenever I hear that sizzle. All right, turn the fire up and see all the water stuff in there and the butter. <laughs> Not the water stuff and butter. <laughs> My professional cooking queen. Do you see all that water stuff and butter? Get that cooked down. All right, in the meanwhile, get you two pounds of ground uh, hamburger meat. This oh. is grass-fed hamburger meat. Okay. And it is so good. I just assumed that the burgers were going to be made out of the, the boudin sausage. What are we doing here? In fact, this is really the only kind of hamburger meat that I like to cook. All right, and then just go ahead and break it in two. And you know, you know how to make hamburger patties. But sure. just make them thick you're gonna make them thick like this mm, yeah make them thick sure right, now i just took an ice cream scoop <laughs> and just squashed it down in the middle because uh -huh. you want a little cavity in there oh that was that did y'all hear that noise little cavity in there <laughs> the little squishiness and i've already taken out the shrimp and do you see how charred it is a little bit on the um, skillet? What is charred? Wait, what do you mean do I see how charred it is on the skillet? No, I don't. What the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean do I see the charred? I assume she doesn't mean the burgers, but even like the bottom of the skillet doesn't look like it has like crusty like charred bits on it and also why were you why were you charring up this the shrimp um that's what you want on there because it just gives this burger so much flavor now you're gonna have a 
some extra shrimp and boudin left. Uh huh. But I made it because I'm gonna make another dish, and I'm gonna show y'all how to make that. But I'm not making it today. Does that make sense? I guess I'm <laughs> sure. going nuts or something. Sure. All right. You <gasps> go ahead and put you some shrimp in that little cubby hole. Is she going to season that beef? Lizzie, you're expecting too much. <laughs> you're expecting too much. Why, why would she season the meat? Why would she do that when she's going to have a surprise inside of the meat, which is rubbery shrimp and boudin sausage? That's what I call it, a little cubby hole. All right, now I'm going to get some boudin. All right, I've already let's microwaved get it. it. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> She slid it open, too. <laughs> You're going to cut it, split it open, and then start scraping some of that out. Scraping it out. <laughs> and put that boudin on top of that shrimp. Oh, my now, God. Now, get you some red roasted bell peppers. Uh-huh. And then just start layering those on top. Uh-huh. Are you going to... Wait, is she going to, like, wrap... Here's my thought. I thought she was going to wrap the hamburger meat like around these things but she's just putting it in the middle oh that was a that was not a fire truck i don't think that didn't sound like a fire truck which is what normally goes by and on my electric skillet i put it on um 200 uh-huh the temp so i just like also don't feel like this is gonna cook properly like this, like how is this gonna cook all the way through like the hamburger? If you're using a regular skillet, then I don't know, just make sure that it's like, kind of like a low. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, put the lid on it. I love, I love that she's so obsessed with like the sizzle. Like, girl, you're just cooking food. That like, <laughs> that doesn't mean that's gonna be good. It doesn't mean it's going to be great. And just let it cook for just a little bit. All right, take that shrimp and that boudin and just put it in the same bowl. Uh -huh. I mean, unless you want to eat it. Actually, this is really good. Um, this will stay good in the icebox for a few days. But I am going to be making another dish with this. Uh -huh. And I really believe <laughs> you're going to... Poe, stop, bud. Hey, look at me. Look at me. You're fine. Oh my gosh. Go. Go say hi to your dad. <sighs> One day his anxiety is going to be better. <laughs> one day. It's not today, but one day it'll be better. He gets he gets anxious that um when he hears literally Noel just move around our home, it's it's very stressful and it's uh we we have switched him to a new a new medication to hopefully help with his anxiety that's like also the least of the problems when it comes to his anxiety but it is kind of frustrating but <laughs> looking at poe and saying poe please don't do this i know your heart this isn't you <laughs> i know i know i know i'm gonna be surprised what it is so be looking out for that video. All right, take that lid off and then just these kind of burgers are crazy. All that good stuff down. Like that is. That I mean, I know. Also, sometimes people eat like hamburgers. You know, like you can eat it like rare, medium rare, etc. But ain't no way this is gonna cook through correctly. Like I just it, it doesn't. Ugh. And it doesn't look appetizing, even if it does, to be honest. Hamburger. And you're going to have to kind of squish it, but be careful and don't break your hamburger. Oh, yeah, don't do then that. Then get you some sliced cheese. Of course. I love an American cheese. Also, look at all the grease. Look at all the grease that suddenly showed up in this skillet. The liquid. And put over it. All right, and let that melt just a little bit. Uh, sorry, <laughs> my exhaust fan. Uh, let that melt just a uh -huh. little bit. Make sure the meat is done. And how how are you making sure that the meat is done, Cherie? This seems like really hard to do, but it's really not. It's just taking me because I'm trying to show y'all. 
All right, now turn the fire down and just put uh, the lid back on it. Uh -huh. um, mine, this is my burger right here. I don't really like a lot of cheese, so I kind of took some of the cheese off of mine. <laughs> why, why put it on to begin with, Cherie? I also find it hard to believe she doesn't like a lot of cheese because she constantly adds cheese to all of her meals. So that is also fascinating. A fascinating turn of events for me. All right, so just put the lid back on and let it cook for maybe five to eight minutes. Okay. On low, I've got it about on 200 on the electric skillet. All right, turn the fire off. You know, just unplug it or whatever. Is she baking something? It says bake 309. Like, she's preheating. Is she going to bake these burgers? And then turn the oven on and oh. get you some good old Texas toast, the five cheese one. Wait, is the Texas toast going to be the buns? <laughs> Wait, is the Texas toast the buns? And cook it as directed. All right, y'all. That's crazy. The Texas toast for buns is crazy. I love it. <laughs> also, the five cheese Texas toast after she just said she doesn't even like cheese that much. <laughs> Sheree, you will always be that girl. She is that girl. She is that woman. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at those hamburgers. Te Texas toast. Honestly, maybe I'm sleeping on Texas toast as a as a bun. Although I feel like Texas toast as a bun would be better for like a thinner burger. Like how are you gonna fit all that in your mouth? <laughs> maybe 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 Sheree is the queen of fitting some shit in her mouth. You know I don't know. Yummy yummy. All right. When you take the Texas toast out, put the cheese side on the bottom. Uh-huh. Now, here comes the fun part. What's the fun Yum. part? Y'all want a bite? No. I come with some Texas toast, but, but not with that burger. All right, you guys. Look at that, y'all. That's crazy. Yeah. Give me a close-up right of now, that cross-section. This is the taste test. Oh, she's... <gasps> oh, did you just see that little glimpse of her face that we got? Mmm. Oh, my gosh. It tastes so good. Mm. I am kind of hungry. It's just got so many different flavors to it with that shrimp. And the boudin and the peppers. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. And then the cheese. And then the cheese on top of the cheese with the um, Texas toast. Yeah, girl, you just said you don't even like cheese. Why are you getting excited about it right now? Why are you geeking out about it right now then? It is awesome. Y'all need to try this one. Anyway, hey, check out my other videos if you don't mind. I sure would uh, appreciate we'll it. And just remember, if you believe it, you can make true, these. And until true. next time, be blessed and safe. Bye, y'all. Bye, Cherie. Oh, thank you so much for that iconic video today. This unique Cajun shrimp burger is a must for anyone hungry for a burger. Don't miss out. <laughs> Looks yummy. Was fun to watch. Those burgers are looking delightful. Yummy, yummy. Nice job, sis. Stay blessed. Not sure what's a crazy boudin burger, but I'm I'm into learning. Love the Texas toast idea. <laughs> I'm into learning about your crazy things that you're making, Cherie. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Well, YouTubies. <laughs> Who's this cooking secrets for men? We've looked at the channel before. It didn't look too exciting <laughs> we back in the day we did check it out though um anyways youtubies that's all i got for today that's it that's all bye youtubies subscribe